Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you some of the new meeting features in the new Microsoft Teams app. First, we'll enable the new Teams application. Then we'll look at the new meeting features, including the portrait blur and video settings, such as green screen, adjust brightness, and soft focus. You may be aware of the new Microsoft Teams application for Windows. In this video, we'll show you how to enable it, and what differences to expect when joining a Teams meeting. To enable the new Teams app, click the toggle in the top left of your desktop application. Once the new version's loaded, click the classic Teams icon in the taskbar. Then head up and choose whether to switch back, or keep using the new Teams. For now, we'll keep using the new version. If you want to switch back at any time, simply head up and click the three dots at the top. Then hit the toggle next to new teams. To start a meeting, we can follow the same steps as with classic teams. From a channel, just hit the video icon, or the drop down next to it, and choose to schedule a meeting or meet now. We'll select meet now. The major updates can be found in the effects and avatars section which you can access before joining a meeting. However, we'll be looking at these features from inside a meeting, so let's head across and hit join now. Once you've joined the meeting, head up and click more at the top. Then select effects and avatars from the dropdown. Perhaps the first difference you'll notice is the option to add a portrait blur, as well as the standard blur in classic teams. The portrait blur creates a depth of field effect, with sharper focus on the subject, and more subtle blurring on the background. Whereas the standard blur adds a stronger uniform blur to the whole background. We also have some new video settings, which you can access by clicking green screen settings. The adjust brightness feature will enhance your camera quality and poor lighting. The soft focus feature adds a smoothing effect to your appearance, which you can adjust using a slider. and the green screen setting adds a solid color background to your video, which can help sharpen your image if you choose to apply a virtual background. To return to these settings, hit the three dots at the top, and select settings from the dropdown. And the new video features can be found in the devices tab. Heading back to the meeting, you may notice that the Maybelline option is missing in the new Teams app. However, if we head up to the top, we can now click the three dots to find a new zoom feature, which some users may find useful for catching details. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.